Hello, um, Raphael here. Um, there's no Vespers this evening at either of the local Orthodox churches. Um, so for the Feast of the Transfiguration, um, I'm praying Vespers here at my home. Um, the service will be read from the uh, Holy Transfiguration prayer book. And uh, Cathismas will be read from my brand spanking new Psalter according to the 70. Uh, thanks again to my friends at Life of the World. Um, so, uh, thank you for uh, joining me. the prayers of our holy fathers of Lord Jesus Christ our God have mercy on us. Amen. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. Heavenly King, the comforter of the spirit of truth, who everywhere is present and fill us all things. Try to be blessings and giver of life. Come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls one good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse our sins, Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, the Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God, our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Bless the Lord, O my soul, O Lord my God. Thou hast been magnified exceedingly. Confession and majesty hast thou put on, who coverest thyself with light as with a garment, who stretchest out the heaven as it were a curtain, who supporteth the his chambers and the waters, who appointeth the clouds for his ascent, who walketh upon the wind, wings of the winds, who maketh his angel spirits and his ministers a flame of fire, who establisheth the earth in the sureness thereof, it shall not be turned back forever and ever. The abyss like a garment is his mantle, upon the mountain shall the waters stand. At thy rebuke they will flee, at the voice of thy thunder shall they be afraid. The mountains rise up, and with the plains sink down unto the place where thou hast established them. Thou appointest, appointedest, found that they shall not pass, neither return to cover the earth. He sendeth forth springs in the valleys, between the mountains will the waters run. They shall give drink to all the beasts of the field, wild asses will wait to quench their thirst. Beside them will the birds of the heaven lodge, from the midst of the rocks will they give voice. He watereth the mountains, 
From his chambers the earth shall be satisfied with the fruit of thy works. He causeth the grass to grow for the cattle, the green herb for the service of men, to bring forth bread out of the earth, and wine maketh glad the heart of man, to make his face cheerful with oil, and bread strengtheneth man's heart. The trees of the plain shall be satisfied, the cedars of Lebanon which thou hast planted. There will the sparrows make their nests, the house of the heron is chief among them, the high mountains are a refuge for the hearts, and so is the rock for the hares. He hath made the moon for seasons, the sun knoweth its going down. Thou appointest the darkness, and there was the night, wherein all the beasts of the forest will go abroad, young lions roaring after their prey, and seeking their food from God. The sun ariseth, and they are gathered together, and they lay them down in their dens. But man shall go forth into his work, and to his labor until the evening. How magnified are thy works, O Lord! In wisdom hast thou made them all. The earth is filled with thy creation. So is this great and spacious sea. Therein are things creeping innumerable, small living creatures with the great. There go the ships, there this dragon, whom thou hast made to play therein. All things wait on thee, to give them their food in due season. When thou givest it them, they will gather it. When thou openest thy hand, all things shall be filled with goodness. Then thou turnest away thy face, they shall be troubled. Thou wilt take their spirit, and they shall cease, and unto their dust shall they return. Thou wilt send forth thy spirit, and they shall be created, and thou shalt renew the face of the earth. Let the glory of the Lord be unto the ages, the Lord will rejoice in his works. Who looketh on the earth and maketh it tremble, who toucheth the mountains and they smoke. I will sing unto the Lord throughout my life. I will chant to my God for as long as I have my being. May, work, may my words be sweet unto him, and I will rejoice in the Lord. Oh, that sinners would cease from the earth, that they that work iniquity, that they should be no more. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. The sun knoweth its going down. Thou appointest the darkness, and there was night. How magnified are thy works, O Lord! In wisdom hast thou made them all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Unto thee, O Lord, I have lifted up my soul. O my God, in thee have I trusted. Let me never be put to shame, nor let my enemies laugh me to scorn. Yea, let none that wait on thee be put to shame. Let them be ashamed, which are lawless without a cause. Make thy ways, O Lord, known unto me, and teach me thy paths. Lead me in thy truth, and teach me, for thou art God my Savior. For on thee have I waited all the day long. Remember thy compassions, O Lord, and thy mercies, for they are from everlasting. The sins of my mouth, <laughs> of my youth, and my ignorances remember not. According to thy mercy remember thou me, for the sake of thy goodness, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord, therefore will he set the law for them that sit in the way. He will guide the meek in judgment, he will teach the meek his ways. All the ways of the Lord are mercy and truth, unto them that seek after his covenant and his testimonies. For the sake of thy name, O Lord, be gracious unto my sin, for it is great. Who is the man that feareth the Lord? He will set him a law in the way which he hath chosen. His soul shall dwell among good things, and his sheep shall on high the earth. The Lord is the strength of them that fear him, and his covenant shall be manifested unto them. Mine eyes are ever towards the Lord, for he it is that will draw my feet out of the snare. Look upon me and have mercy upon me, for I am one only begotten and poor. The afflictions of my heart are multiplied, bring me out of, from my necessities. Behold my lowliness and my toil, and forgive all my sins. Look upon my enemies, for they are multiplied, and with an unjust hatred have they hated me. Keep my soul and rescue me. Let me not be put to shame, for I have hoped in thee. The innocent and the upright have cleaved unto me, for I have waited in thee, O Lord. Redeem us, Israel, O God, out of its affliction. 
Judge me, O Lord, for in mine innocence have I walked. And hoping in the Lord, I shall not grow weak. Prove me, O Lord, and try me. Prove with fire my reins and my heart. For thy mercy is before mine eyes, and I have been well pleasing in thy truth. I have not sat with the counsel of vanity, nor shall I go in with them that transgress the law. I have hated the congregation of the evildoers, and with the ungodly will I not sit. I will wash my hands in innocency. And I will compass thine altar, O Lord, that I may hear the voice of thy praise, and tell of all thy wondrous works. O Lord, I have loved the beauty of thy house, and the place where the, thy glory dwelleth. Destroy not my soul with the ungodly, nor my life with men of blood, in whose hands are iniquities, their right hand is full of bribes. But as for me, in mine innocence have I walked. Redeem me, O Lord, and have mercy on me. My foot hath stood in uprightness in the congregations while I bless thee, O Lord. The Lord is my light and my Savior, of whom then shall I fear? The Lord is the defender of my life, of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked draw nigh against me to eat my flesh, they that afflict me are mine enemies, they themselves become weak, and they fell. Though a host should array itself against me, my heart shall not be afraid. The war should rise up against me, in this have I hoped. One thing have I asked of the Lord, this will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life that I may behold the delight of the Lord, that I may visit his holy temple. For he hid me in his tabernacle in the day of my troubles. He sheltered me in the secret place of his tabernacle. On a rock hath he exalted me. And now, behold, he exalted my head above mine enemies. I went around about, and I sacrificed in his tabernacle a sacrifice of praise and jubilation. I will sing, and I will chant unto the Lord. Hearken, O Lord, unto my voice, wherewith I cry, have mercy on me, and hearken unto me. My heart said unto thee, I will seek the Lord. My face hath sought after thee. Thy face, O Lord, will I seek. Turn not thy face from me, and turn not away in wrath from thy servant. Be thou my helper, and cast me not utterly away, and forsake me not, O God, my Savior. For my father and my mother have forsaken me, but the Lord hath taken me to himself. Set me a law, O Lord, in thy way and lead me in the right path because of mine enemies. Deliver me not over unto the souls of them that afflict me, for unjust witnesses are risen up against me, and injustice hath lied, lied to itself. I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord, be thou manful, and let thy heart be strengthened, and wait on the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Unto thee, O Lord, will I cry. O my God, be not silent unto them, me, lest if thou be silent to me, I become like them that go down into the pit. Hearken, O Lord, unto my supplication when I pray unto thee, when I lift up my hands towards thy holy temple. Draw me not in with sinners, and with the workers of unrighteousness destroy me not, who speak peace with thy neighbors, their neighbors, but evils in their hearts. Give unto them, O Lord, according to their deeds, and according to the wickedness of their endeavors, according to the work of their hands. Give unto them, render their reward unto them. For they have not understood the works of the Lord, and the works of his hands. Thou shalt destroy them, and shalt not build them up. Blessed is the Lord, because he hath heard the voice of my supplication. The Lord is my helper and my defender. My heart hath hoped in him, and I am helped, and my flesh, and my flesh hath flourished again, and out of my desire will I confess him. The Lord is the strength of his people, and the champion of salvation for his anointed one. Save thy people and bless thy inheritance, shepherd them, and bear them up unto eternity. Bring unto the Lord, ye sons of God, Bring unto the Lord the sons of rams. Bring unto the Lord glory and honor. Bring unto the Lord the glory due his name. Worship the Lord in his holy court. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The God of glory hath thundered. The Lord is upon the many waters. The voice of the Lord in might. The voice of the Lord in majesty. The voice of the Lord who breaketh the cedars. Yea, the Lord who will break the cedars of Lebanon. And he will break them small like a calf of Lebanon. And his beloved is like the son of the unicorns. 
the voice of the Lord who divideth the flame of fire, the voice of the Lord who shaketh the wilderness, yea, the Lord will shake the wilderness, wilderness of Hades. The voice of the Lord gathered the hearts, and shall reveal the thickets of oak, and his temple, every man utterly uttereth glory. The Lord dwelleth in the flood, yea, the Lord shall sit as king forever. The Lord will give strength unto his people, the Lord will bless his people with peace. I, I will exalt thee, O Lord, for thou hast upheld me, and hast not made my foes to rejoice over me. O Lord my God, I cried unto thee, and thou hast healed me. O Lord, thou hast brought up my soul out of Hades, thou hast saved me from them that go down into the pit. Chant unto the Lord, O ye saints of his, and give thanks at his remembrance of his holiness. For wrath is in his anger, but in his will there is life. At evening shall weeping find lodging, but in the morning rejoicing. And I said in my prosperity, I shall remain unshaken forever. O Lord, by thy will hast thou granted power to my beauty. For thou hast turned away thy face, and I have become troubled. Unto thee, O Lord, will I cry, and unto my God will I make supplication. What profit is there in my blood? When I go down into corruption, shall dust confess thee, or declare thy truth? The Lord hath heard me, and hath had mercy on me. The Lord became my helper. Thou hast turned my mourning into joy for me. Thou didst rend my sackcloth, and didst gird me with gladness, that my glory may chant unto thee, that I may not be pierced with sorrow. O Lord my God, I will confess thee forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. In thee, O Lord, have I hoped. Let me not be put to shame in the age to come. In thy righteousness deliver me and rescue me. Thou down thine ear unto me, make haste to rescue me. Be thou unto me a God, to defend me, and a house of refuge to save me. For my strength and my refuge art thou. And for thy name's sake wilt thou guide me and nourish me. Thou wilt bring me out of the snare, which they have hid for me. And thou art my defender, O Lord. Into thy hands will I commit my spirit. Thou hast redeemed me, O Lord, God of truth. Thou hast hated them that cling to empty vanities, but I have hoped in the Lord. I will rejoice and be glad in thy mercy, for thou hast regarded my lowliness. Thou hast saved my soul out of necessities, and hast now shut me, and hast now shut me up in the hands of enemies. Thou hast set my feet in spacious place. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am afflicted. Mine eye is troubled with anger, and also my soul and my belly. For my life is spent with grief, and my years with groanings. My strength has grown weak in poverty, and my bones are troubled. I am become a reproach among all mine enemies, and greatly for my neighbors also, and a fear to mine acquaintances. They that saw me without fled from me. I am forgotten by the heart like the dead man. I am become like a broken vessel. For I have heard the reproach of many that dwell round about. When they assembled together against me, they devised to take away my life. But as for me, I have hoped in thee, O Lord. I said, Thou art my God, and thy hands are my lots. Deliver me from the hands of mine enemies, and from them that persecute me. Make thy face to shine upon thy servant. Save me in thy mercy. O Lord, let me not be put to shame, for I have called upon thee. Let the ungodly be put to shame, and let them be brought down into Hades. Speechless be the deceitful lips which speak iniquity against the righteous man with arrogance and contempt. How great is the multitude of thy goodness, O Lord, which thou hast hid for them that fear thee, which thou hast wrought for them that hope in thee before the sons of men. Thou shalt hide them in the secrecy of thy presence from the disturbance of men. Thou shalt shelter them in the tabernacle from contradiction of tongues. Blessed is the Lord, for he hath made his mercy wondrous in a fortified city. But as for me, I said in mine ecstasy, I am cast away from the presence of thine eyes. Therefore hast thou heard the voice of my supplication when I cried unto thee. O love ye the Lord, all ye his saints, 
For the Lord requireth truth, and unto them that act with exceeding pride, he rendereth them their due. Be ye manful, and let your heart be strengthened, all ye that hope in the Lord. Blessed are they whose iniquities are forgiven, and those whose sins are covered. Blessed is the man unto whom the Lord imputeth not sin, and in whose mouth there is no guile. Because I kept silence, my bones are waxed old through my crying all the day long. For day and night thy hand was heavy upon me. I was reduced to misery whilst the thorns stuck fast in me. Mine iniquity have I acknowledged, and my sin have I not hid. I said, I will confess mine iniquities before the Lord against myself. And thou forgavest the ungodliness of my heart. For this shall every one that is holy pray unto thee in a seasonable time. Moreover, in a flood of many waters shall they not come nigh unto him. Thou art my refuge from the affliction which surroundeth me. All my rejoicing deliver me from them which have encircled me. <coughs> I will instruct thee and teach thee in this way which thou shalt go. I will fix mine eyes upon thee. Be ye not as the horse or as the mule, which have no understanding, whose jaws thou must hold with bit and bridle, lest they come nigh unto thee. Many are the scourges of the sinners, but mercy shall encircle them that hopeth in the Lord. Be glad in the Lord, and rejoice, ye righteous, and glory, all ye that are upright of heart. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, our God. Rejoice in the Lord, O ye righteous. Praise is me for the upright. Give praise to the Lord with the harp. Chant unto him with the ten string psaltery. Sing unto him a new song. Chant well unto him with jubilation. For the word of the Lord is true, and all his works are in faithfulness. The Lord loveth mercy and judgment. The earth is full of mercy of the Lord. By the word of the Lord, were the heavens established, and all the might of them that the spirit of his mouth he gathered together, as in to a wineskin the waters of the sea, who layeth up the abyss and storehouses. Let all the earth fear the Lord, and let all the inhabitants of the world be shaken before him. For he spake, and they came into being. He commanded, and they were created. The Lord scattereth the plants, plants of the heathens. He set the side of the devices of the peoples, and he bringeth to not the plans of princes. But the counsel of the Lord abideth unto eternity, and through his heart, unto like generation and generation. Blessed is the nation whose God is Lord, the people whom he hath chosen for his inheritance. The Lord looked down from heaven, he beheld all the sons of men. From his habitation which he prepared, he looked upon the inhabitants of the earth. He that alone fashioned the heart of them, who understandeth all their works. But a king is not saved by great might, nor shall a giant be saved by the magnitude of his own strength. Futile is the horse for salvation, nor by the magnitude of his might shall he be saved. Behold, the eyes of the Lord are upon them that fear him, upon them that hope in his mercy, to deliver their souls from death and to nourish them in famine. Our souls shall wait in the Lord, for he is our helper and our defender. For our hearts shall be glad unto him, and in his holy name have we hoped. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us according as we have hoped in thee. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth, and the Lord shall my soul be praised. Let the meek hear and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he heard me, and delivered me from all my tribulations. Come unto him, and be enlightened, and your faces shall not be ashamed. The poor man cried, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his tribulations. The angel of the Lord will encamp round about them that fear him, and will deliver them. O taste and see that the Lord is good, blessed is the man that hopeth in him. O fear the Lord, all ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. The rich men have turned poor and gone hungry, but they that seek the Lord shall not be deprived of any good thing. Come, ye children, hearken unto me, I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is there that desireth death, life, <clears throat> who loveth to see good days? 
Keep thy tongue from evil, thy lips from speaking guile. Turn away from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open unto the supp their supplication. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil, utterly to destroy the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cried, and the Lord heard them, and he delivered them out of their tribulations. The Lord is nigh unto them that are a contrite heart, and he will save the humble of spirit. Many are the tribulations of the righteous, and the Lord shall deliver them out of them all. The Lord keepeth all our bones, not one of them shall be broken. The death of sinners is evil, and they that hate the righteous shall do wrong. The Lord will redeem the souls of his servants, and none of them will do wrong that hope in him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Hallelujah, 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 glory to thee, O God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to thee, O God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Judge them, O Lord, that do me injustice, war against them that war against me. Take hold of weapon and shield, and arise <coughs> unto my help. Draw out a sword, and shut the way against them that persecute me. Say to my soul, I am thy salvation. Let them that seek my soul be ashamed and confounded. Let them be turned back and be utterly put to shame. They that devise evils against me. Let them become as dust before the face of the wind. An angel of the Lord also afflicted them. Let their way become darkness. And and a sliding, <clears throat> an angel of the Lord also pursuing them. For without cause have they secretly prepared for me destruction in their snare. Without reason have they cast reproach on my soul. Let a snare come upon him which he knoweth not. And let the trap which he hath hidden catch him, and into the same snare let him fall. But my soul shall rejoice in the Lord. It shall delight in his salvation. All my bones shall say, Lord, O Lord, who is like unto thee? Delivering the beggar from the hand of them that are stronger than he, a poor man and pauper from them that despoil him. When just witnesses rose up against me, things I knew not they asked me. They repaid me with evil things for good, and barrenness for my soul. But as for me, when they troubled me, I put on sackcloth. And I humbled my soul with fasting, and my prayer shall return to my bosom. And though it had been a neighbor, as though it had been our brother, so sought I to please. As one morning in sad of countenance, so humbled I myself. Yet against me they rejoiced and gathered together. Scourges were gathered together upon me, and I knew it not. They were rent asunder, yet not pricked at heart. They tempted me, they mocked me with mockery, they gnashed upon me with their teeth. O Lord, when wilt thou look upon me, deliver my soul from their evil doing? Even this only begotten one of mine from the loins. Lions. <clears throat> I will confess thee in the great congregation among the mighty people, will I praise thee. Let not them rejoice against me that unjustly are mine enemies. They that hate me without a cause, and wink with their eyes. For peaceably indeed they speak unto me. But in their wrath were they devising deceits. And they opened wide their mouth against me. They said, Well done, well done, our eyes have seen it. Thou hast seen it, O Lord, keep not silence. O Lord, depart not from me. Arise, O Lord, and be attentive unto my judgment, my God, and my Lord, unto my cause. Judge me, O Lord, according to thy righteousness, O Lord, my God. Let them not rejoice against me. Let them not say in their hearts, Well done, well done, our soul. Let them not say, We have swallowed him up. Let them be shamed and confounded together with rejoice at my woes. Let them be clothed with shame and confusion who speak boastful words against me. Let them rejoice and be glad who desire the righteousness of my cause. And let them that desire the peace of thy servant say continually, The Lord be magnified. And my tongue shall treat of thy righteousness and of thy praise all the day long. The transgressor, that he may sin, saith to himself, that there is no fear of God before his eyes, for he hath wrought craftiness before him, lest he should find iniquity and hate in it. The words of his mouth are iniquity and deceit. He hath not willed to understand how to do good. Iniquity hath devised upon his bed, and he hath set himself in every way that is not good, and evil hath not abhorred. 
O Lord, thy mercy is in heaven, and thy truth reacheth into the clouds. Thy righteousness is at the mountains of God, thy judgments are a great abyss. Men and beasts wilt thou save, O Lord. How thou hast multiplied thy mercy, O God. Let the sons of men hope in the shelter of thy wings. They shall be drunken with the fatness of thy house, and of the torrent of thy delight shall thou make them to drink. For in thee is the fountain of life, in thy light shall we see light. O continue thy mercy unto them that know thee, and thy righteousness unto the upright of heart. Let not thy foot of pride come against me, nor let the hand of a sinner move me. Yonder be fallen all they that work iniquity. They are cast out, and shall not, shall not be able to stand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Fret not thyself because of evildoers, nor envy them that work iniquity. For like grass quickly shall they be withered, and like green herbs quickly shall they fall away. Open the Lord and do good, and dwell on the earth, and like a shepherd shalt thou be fed with its riches. Delight thyself in the Lord, and he will give thee asking of the heart. Disclose unto the Lord thy way, and trust in him, and he shall bring it to pass. And he shall bring forth thy righteousness, as the light of thy judgment, and as the noonday. Submit thyself unto the Lord, and supplicate him. Fret not thyself because of him that prospereth in his way, nor because of a man that doeth iniquity. Cease from wrath, and forsake anger. Fret not thyself, so as not to do evil. For evildoers shall utterly perish, and they that wait on the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. And yet a little while, and the sinner shall not be. And thou shalt seek for his place, and shalt not find it. But the meek shall inherit the earth, and shall delight in themselves in the abundance of peace. The sinner will diligently help. <coughs> pardon me. The sinner will diligently keep watch over the righteous man, and will gnash with his teeth upon him. But the Lord shall laugh at him, because he foreseeth that his day will come. The sinners have drawn a sword, they have bent their bow, to cast down poor man and pauper, to slay the upright in heart. Let their sword enter into their own hearts, and their bows be broken. Better it is, better is the little which the just man hath than the great riches of sinners. For the arms of the sinner shall be broken, but the Lord upholdeth the righteous. The Lord knoweth the ways of the blameless, and their inheritance shall be forever. They shall not be put to shame in an evil time, and in days of famine they shall be filled. But the sinners shall perish, and the enemies of the Lord, in the moment when they are glorified and exalted, vanish away, and like smoke hath vanished away. The sinner borroweth and will not repay, but the just man showeth mercy and giveth. For they that bless him shall inherit the earth, but they that curse him shall utterly perish. By the Lord, are the steps of a man rightly directed, and his way shall he greatly desire. When he falleth, he shall not be utterly cast down, for the Lord upholdeth his hand. I have been young, and now indeed I am old, and I have not seen the righteous man forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. All the day long the righteous showeth mercy, and lendeth, and his seed shall be unto blessing. Decline from evil, and do good, and dwell unto ages of ages. For the Lord loveth judgment, and he will not forsake his holy ones, they shall be kept forever. But the wicked shall be banished, and the seed of the ungodly shall be utterly destroyed. The righteous shall inherit the earth, and shall dwell therein unto the ages of ages. The mouth of the righteous shall meditate wisdom, and his tongue shall speak of judgment. The law of his God is his heart, and his steps shall not be tripped. The sinner watcheth the righteous ones, and seeketh to slay them. But the Lord will not abandon him to his hands, nor in any way condemn him when, his, when he judgeth him. Wait on the Lord and keep his way, and he shall exalt thee to inherit the earth. When sinners are utterly destroyed, thou shalt see it. I have seen the ungodly man highly exalted and lifting himself up like the cedars of Lebanon. But I passed by, and lo, he was not. But I saw him, and his place was not to be found. Keep innocence, and behold the brightness, for there is a remnant for the peaceable man.
but the transgressors shall be utterly destroyed together, and the remains of the ungodly shall be utterly destroyed. But the salvation of the righteous is from the Lord, and he is their defender in time of affliction. And the Lord shall help them, and shall deliver them, and he will rescue them from sinners, and will save them, because they hoped in him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord, I cry unto thee, hearken unto me, hearken unto me, O Lord. Lord, I have cried unto thee, hearken unto me, attend the voice of my supplication when I cry unto thee, hearken unto me, O Lord. Let my prayer be set forth as incense before thee, the lifting up of my hands as an evening sacrifice, hearken unto me, O Lord. Set, O Lord, a watch before my mouth, and a door of enclosure around about my lips. Incline not thy heart into words of evil, to make excuse with excuses and sins. With men that work iniquity, and I will not join with their chosen. The righteous man will chasten me with mercy and reprove me. As for the oil of the sinner, let it not anoint my head. And yet more is my prayer in the presence of their pleasures, swallowed up near by the rock have their judgments been. They shall hear my words, for they be sweetened. And the clod of earth has, is broken upon the earth, so have their bones been scattered nine to Hades. For unto thee, O Lord, O Lord, are mine eyes. In thee have I hoped, take not my soul away. Keep me from the snare which they have laid for me, and from the stumbling blocks of them that work iniquity. The sinner shall fall into their own net. I am alone until I pass by. With my voice unto the Lord have I cried, with my voice unto the Lord have I made supplication. I will pour out before him my supplication, when affliction before him will I declare. When my spirit was fainting within me, then thou knowest my paths. In this way wherein I have walked, they hid for me a snare. I looked upon my right hand and beheld, and there was none that did know me. Light hath failed me. There is none that watch out, watcheth out for my soul. I have cried unto thee, O Lord. I said, Thou art my hope. My portion art thou in the land of the living. Attend unto my supplication. For I am brought very low. Deliver me from them that persecute me, for they are stronger than I. Bring my soul out of prison that I may confess thy name. The righteous shall wait patiently for me until thou shalt reward me. Out of the depths have I cried unto thee, O Lord. O Lord, hear my voice. Let thine ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. If thou shouldst mark iniquities, O Lord, O Lord, who shall stand? For with thee there is forgiveness. For thy name's sake I have patiently waited for thee, O Lord. My soul hath waited patiently for thy word. My soul hath hoped in the Lord. And the morning watch until the night. In the morning watch let Israel hope in the Lord. For with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plenty is redemption. And he shall redeem Israel out of all his iniquity. Praise the Lord, all ye nations. Praise him, all ye peoples. For ye have made his mercy to prevail over us. And the truth of the Lord abideth forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. On the mount thou was transfigured, and thy disciples, as much as they could bear, beheld thy glory, O Christ our God. And when they should see thee crucified, they would know thy passion to be willing, and would preach to the world that thou, in truth, are the effulgence of the Father. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. 
Ujo is light of the holy, glory of the immortal, heavenly, holy, blessed Father. O Jesus Christ, now that we have come to the setting of the sun, and behold the light of evening, we praise Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. For me it is at all times to worship thee, with songs of praise of giver of life. Wherefore all the world doth glorify thee. Save the Lord to keep us this evening without sin. Blessed art thou, O Lord, God of our fathers, and praise and glorify his name in the ages of men. Have mercy, O Lord, be upon us according as we have hoped in him. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teacher of the statutes. Blessed art thou, Master, for having understanding of the statutes. Blessed art thou, O Holy One, who abide me by the statutes. O Lord, thy mercy endure forever, sustain the Lord with thy hand. To thee is due praise, unto thee is due a song, unto thee glory is due. To the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the age of days. Amen. Now let us thou thy servant depart in peace, O minister, according to thy word. For my eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared. Before all the face of thy peoples, the light of revelation to the nations, and the glory of thy people is real. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. The Lord, pardon our sins, grant our pardon, our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities, for thy name's sake. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And it is not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Through the prayers of the Holy Fathers, the Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us. Amen. Thou was transfigured on the mountain of Christ our God, showing to the disciples thy glory as each one could endure. Shine forth thou on us, who are sinners all. Thy light ever endureth through the prayers of the Theotokos, light bestower. Glory be to thee. The Lord God made steadfast the holy and blameless faith of the pious and orthodox Christians with his holy church in this city unto the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim, without corruption he gave birth to God, the Lord. Truth they have told be magnified. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us. Amen. Bad singing aside, I'm uh, glad you were able to join me. Have a
blessed evening. Enjoy the feast.